Welcome back and technically good morning because it's like 8.35 in the morning and you're probably wondering, Veronica, why are you filming so early? Also, why do you only have like half of your face done? Well, that's because like many other people willing to blow their money off in like late May, we're going to be doing the unboxing of Jeffree Star's cremation palette and doing a little cremation look going on here because uh, of course I spent all my money on his palette because it is amazing and I just really wanted to play with it and it, it I actually don't have a smoky eyeshadow palette so this was kind of like perfect timing so we're just going to do a little quick easy play with like the little cremation Jeffree Star palette and actually this is like my first Jeffree Star product so this will be, I guess, like a little first impression for me. So we're going to get this done as quickly as possible since I do have to work and I do need coffee. You know, if I'm not as energetic, it's because I haven't had like my five cups of coffee yet. And that really makes a difference in my personality at work. So let's unbox this sucker and get this lookbook going. I never follow the rules when it comes with scissors. Oh, no. Let's just cut this sucker open. I was so excited for this thing. Like I had an alarm set, I was ready. I told my friends about it. I'm like, I'm gonna buy it. Like this, I waited, I had my card ready and my poor, like poor Corey, like I was at his place over the weekend and he, I'm just like sitting with my computer, with my credit card and he's just like, what the hell is happening? I'm just like, I need it, I need it now. And he's just like, okay, okay. Is this what happens? Like when I talk about golf and cars, like you get this excited about makeup, I'm like, yes. Yes, it's Corey. Now you understand. You understand that makeup is very important to me. If I could get this box open, apparently I suck at opening boxes. Ah, come on, open. Joke's on me, I can never get it open, therefore I never got the palette. I spent all that money for nothing. All right, so we got it, it comes in the black wrapping paper. Ah, oh, we get a cool little picture. cremation photo shoot look there's jeffrey and all these other people i need to do research on and there's the palette Ooh, i really yeah, i really like that actually i really like his hair maybe i'll do his hair and like that grayish look going on there so i'm gonna keep that photo all right so when you unbox it you get the palette all wrapped up in a special wrapping paper and i did get one of the glosses in the marble so we've got one of the glosses i got the gloss coroner's kiss which is like the um like a light, light gray, because I didn't have that one. Though Heaven's Gate like sold out immediately, but thankfully I had something similar to that one, but I might go back and get more stuff. So as you can see, there's the palette. It's all safely wrapped. Oh no, I messed up the wrapping paper. Ooh. Ooh. There it is. We've got it. We've got it. This is actually like really cool packaging. Like I love the black and white marble and I don't even like and I'm not like a big like marble person, but this is actually really cool looking. He's got the little halo on his logo. Like that's really cool if you can see that. He's got the little urn going on in there. By the way, if this topic creeps you out, then you can just stop watching my video because I think it's, I think it's a cool palette despite everything that everyone thinks. There's a picture of Jeffrey and all the makeup that lipstick Nick did. That's really cool. Like I wish my skills were as good as that. He's got the little like ashes going away. It's really cool. Actually, I would like really want to like just frame this picture and hang it in my bedroom. That's actually like a really cool picture. Open that up in there. It's so pretty. I like this is like my emo goth kid dream. I mean, I literally live in all black, but this is really cool. Oh my God. So you got all kinds of like grays and taupes and whites and there's some shimmer, there's some metallic. Thankfully it comes with a giant mirror. Thank God I brought mine just in case, but this is really cool. Oh, and I love all the stamps. It's got a hearse in there. We've got an urn. It's got his logo with the halo. Like this is really cool. And I can't believe he actually named one of the shades from like Harry Potter, it's Solemnly Swear. All right, that, we're just gonna copy that right from Harry Potter 3. What look am I feeling for work? That is a good question. Well, since I kind of did my hair and you can't tell I'm wearing like a strappy dress over my turn, like I did like a 90s Sabrina the Teenage Witch kind of lookbook today with my rubber Mary jeans. Maybe we'll go something a little crazier. Or we're just gonna play around and see what I'm feeling. Before I even do anything, I kind of want to it's like you want to swatch some of the colors, but you don't want to like ruin it. Oh God. Um, I kind of want to see, let's see, we're gonna, I'm gonna swatch Angel of Death there. That's like a dark blue, black metallic. And I've already ruined the urn, but 
but it's just, I just want to get that in there. Ooh, oh, that's like a dark. Ooh, that's like a nice black with some shimmer in there. You can kind of see that. All right, we're gonna do Paul Bear. So that's that other end of the palette there, that bright, bright metallic. Ooh, ooh, that's so pretty. Ooh, ooh, kind of want to use that today, maybe end up. Okay, that's a little lighter. It's not like an intense one, but you can look at that shine. Okay, actually that might be the highlight for today. I know everyone uses Diamonds Ashes as a highlight. Like that's a pretty like highlighting color, but I want to do something a little different. I'm gonna play with some of the colors in here. Guys, I actually don't know what I wanna do. This is actually like, well, I'm in here, I'm gonna swipe Diamond's Ashes, why not? I can't believe he named that for his one of his dogs that passed away. That's actually really sweet. All right, look at that. Ooh, okay, no wonder people use that as a highlight now that I think about it, I'm like, that's bright. So the morgue is like a little dark for me to use as a bronzer, so I'm gonna go in with Last Respects as a little bronzer just to kind of warm up the face a little. I think if I show up to work with like gray bronzing, they're gonna be like, what is happening? But thank goodness for this mirror. This is a big mirror, I can see everything. Well, I can see all my flaws. Thanks, Jeffrey. Oh man, this is actually not a bad bronzer. This is like a nice little lightweight one. Let's get I'm not using any of the colors as a blush. I already put on like a purple kind of blush. I used my Clinique Black Honey blush, so I did put that on there to give me some color. I think I'm gonna do like a grayish blue smoky eye today. And I'm gonna start with the crease shade. I'm gonna go in with the shade Wednesday and I'm using my Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH31 fluffer brush. So I'm just gonna tap that in there. And I did already prime my eyes before with my Morphe eye primer. So that one's set in there. Just gonna get that all nice and dark and beautiful in there. You should blend out pretty smoothly, not gonna lie. Oh. You think after watching all of his videos and all of the time, the um, Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson like collaboration videos, I would know how the shadows blend, but it's a difference between like watching them on YouTube a million times and then playing with them in person. Like it's a big difference. It's nice to actually test the product for yourself. Cause I've been curious and I wasn't sure what kind of palette I wanted to buy of his, what stuff I wanted to try out. And then like he dropped this collab, this um, video and I was like, I need it. I need it now. When are the dates? Like, let me get my money squared away. Like, I want it. It's like the only thing of his I was like, I need to have now. Did bring you guys in a little bit closer so you can see a little bit more of the look, but I need to get a longer extension cord. Let's see. So I think I'm also gonna go in. I'm gonna go over that same spot with the Solemnly Swear and just repeat what I've just done. I'm using the same brush, just gonna make it add a little bit more definition in there. I feel like I can't talk, it's because of the lack of coffee. Coffee is my life, it's my one love. I'm gonna need so much. This is dark, all right. My aunt gave me such a judgmental look in conversation about like, did you really need to spend all that money for this makeup? And I'm like, yes, yes I did. I needed it, I wanted it, it's mine. Just leave me alone. It's gonna be one. Bomb eye look today, gonna say for myself, since I since I'm going to work, I can only wear makeup like to my nose up really, so it needs to look awesome today. Since we have to wear masks at the mall now that we're open, which for your safety, but still hard to breathe and do makeup, especially since lipstick is my favorite lip like my favorite makeup product and I can't wear it, so I'm reapplying my Burt's Bees all the time. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of this embalmed, if I'm saying that wrong, probably, on my outer corner just a little bit, which is a nice little light gray with a little shimmer to it. So I'm just gonna touch that up on my outer corner there. So I wanna try to use as many shadows as possible. That's really pretty. It's almost like a blue undertone to it. And I'm just gonna go in and re-fluff in my crease, just so I don't lose that crease color. And I'm also going in with my clean fair brush and I'm just gonna smooth out those edges there. I don't want them to be too rough. I'm gonna use my It Cosmetics like holiday brush set and I'm gonna go in, I wanna use that shade Paul Bear that I swatched earlier. Like that's such a pretty color in there. I'm just gonna put that on that inner corner, well, all over the inner corner of the lid. And I just wanna see how that, plays out. <gasps> Ooh, can you 
you see that? Can you see that? Oh, it's so shiny. Look at that metallic. I might just have to put buckets of this. Like this is actually like a really pretty color. And I'm just patting this in there, trying to be as precise as possible and layer on as much of this beautiful shadow as possible. I mean, can you look at that? Can you see? Look at these shimmers. Now you do, I feel like with this shadow, because when I did swatch it, it's that middle swatch there, it's a little sheer. So you can either layer another color underneath or you would just have to pack it on. Now I didn't lay another color underneath, so I just packed on as much as I needed, which that's not a problem. You're just gonna have to dip in and really pack it in there. But I mean, it's gorgeous. It, it, it's gorgeous, like I'm not gonna lie. And I think for shites and giggles, I wanna add another little shimmer shade in the center of my eye. Mortuary Beautician is a little similar. That one's a little similar to the one I just put on to that Paul Bear. So I think I'm gonna go in with the shade Goodbye. With the little cat, with the little like tombstone there with the star. So that's like a nice little light, light gray. I'm gonna take my mask color packer brush and I'm just gonna put that on the center of my eye as well. This is like a bigger palette, so I've got a lot more room to hold and show all this stuff. I'm just glad there's a Ooh, that's pretty. These are all very pretty colors. There's a lot more blue in here than I expected. Like, I feel like you could do a lot of like blue gray smoky eyes and I was expecting a lot more like black gray, but I am impressed, Jeffrey. You know what, he knows what he's doing. So he's got millions, he knows what he's doing. But if also like Jeffrey, if you're hiring or you just need another assistant, like please, I, I will work for free makeup or rent in California, like I would love to work for you, but I would also like to work for Pinterest. That'd be great too. So if Pinterest or Jeffree Star Cosmetics could hire me, that would be great. So I want the bottom to be a little bit darker. <sighs> mm. Okay, so there is a little bit of fallout. So I am blowing away some of the stuff, but I think I don't, I'm gonna go in for my waterline. I'm gonna start with Rest in peace. I'm gonna start with that dark shade. That's like a dark, dark matte gray. And I'm just gonna take my other smudger brush from my It Cosmetics Holiday Collection. I'm just gonna tap in there. And I'm just gonna trace that all on my waterline. Because now that I can only do really eye makeup at work, I need this to look awesome and last all day. I'm sorry, I don't know what I feel like I should be talking about with you guys so early in the morning. I'm just thinking about coffee and this makeup. And I know I look like I got punched in the eye, but I'm gonna add another color underneath so it doesn't look so bam in your face. But you can see that's a difference. That is a look. And he said he created this palette because he felt like in high school he didn't have a nice, cool, like dark, edgy, smoky palette for like all the goth kids out there. I think this is, that's just kind of awesome that he looked back to his high school days because how many people actually go back to high school and take inspiration for their products? They're like, and this is something totally different because most people for like smoky eyeshadow palettes, they would do it a bunch of black, not a bunch of like grays and neutral. So this is really different, it stands out despite all the controversy around it. This is gonna be a controversial topic no matter what, because it's around death. Despite the virus and everything, people are gonna get upset about what he does no matter what. He could make a product that's something nice over like butterflies and ice cream and people would still talk about it because it's Jeffrey, it's Jeffrey Star. He's always controversial. So he's always gonna get shit for the stuff he talks, or he makes and talks about. This is just awesome. I'm just glad he made a product like this. Okay, and I'm gonna take that same smudger brush, I'm gonna go in with that Mortuary Beautician in there. So you can see that's a darker gray with a little sheen. So it's gonna have a little shimmer in there, not as much as the metallic. So I'm just gonna tap that in there. Whoop, there goes the hearse in there. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Ah, I got it under my concealer line. Oh shoot, I'm gonna have to fix that in a second. Crisis averted, where was I? Yes, Mortuary Beautician, tapping that in there. Under the eye, got it. Note to self, Veronica, no more filming early in the morning. Ooh, that's pretty. That's a little shimmer in there, little life. I know he released like the makeup bags. I wish I'd gotten the straws. I'm probably gonna get another lip gloss. I wish he kind of released maybe like a quad of like a blush and a bronzer palette. I'd really like to see like stuff like that, what he would have done for that kind of product. 
I think that would have been really cool as well. I definitely would have bought that. Ooh, that's just really pretty. That really just elevates it to the next level. For my inner corner, I think I'm just gonna go with Death Blow, which is a nice matte white. So I'm just gonna add a little life in that inner corner there. Ooh, oh wow, okay, that is white. That is white. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. It's probably been a while since I've done a smoky eye, but geez. And so the eyeshadow is done, so I'm gonna do, I'm, put a, I'm gonna put on falsies for this. I feel like this eyeshadow palette calls for some false lashes. So, and if you're wondering for lashes, I am using my Eyelore Definition Pack. I have one pair left, and these are gonna be like the feather lash look in there. So I'm just gonna pop those on. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I don't think you guys understand how much I really hate putting on fake eyelashes, but I love the look. And I realize these are the same lashes I used for my Twiggy eye look, and it's now getting to be a little similar, but like that, it's just the lashes make a difference. Like this is such much more a dramatic look. It's so much more in your face. Overall with the shadows, I used a lot of grays and blues. So there are like warmer mattes, there are some taupes, there's some shimmer in there. I think for an overall face highlighter, I know everyone used Diamond's Ashes and it's so pretty as like a highlighter, but I think for today, let me swatch Afterlife. Afterlife's like that one peachy shade in there. I swear I'm not flipping you off. That's just how it happened. If I'm flipping you off, you'll know. That's a nice little sheen in there. So I think I'm gonna go and use Afterlife as my little highlight for the day. We'll add a little peachiness into the face. Ah, I just got my nail and death certificate. I just effed up my palette. That's great. I feel so good. There just goes shadow. All right, we're just gonna ignore that. It's fine, it's fine. Life's fine, first world problems. I'm gonna see how afterlife is on the face. Oh, that that's blinding. All right, you can use that as a face highlighter. Oh yeah, that's like a nice little like natural like peachy highlight in there. Ooh, glad I went in with that. Cupid's bow and the chin. And I think just for the sake of it, I'm gonna also go with Diamond's Ashes on top of there. So I'm just gonna tap that in there and not lift that up. So we'll just have a double blinding highlight in there. Woo! Look at that. That is like shiny like a wet dream. So the last thing, I did just get one of the glosses. I didn't get the, he had the liquid lipstick, a drug lord, which is a true matte white. Wasn't really gonna use that one. There was the black one, but I really just wanted to try the gloss. I wanted to see how his glosses were. And I opened that upside down, so that's not gonna pop out that way. So we're gonna try Coroner's Kiss as soon as I can open it. And let's see that little, whoop. I think I just struggle early in the morning. Whoop, there it comes. Oh, wow, okay, so. 10 points landed in the trash can. So there's the gloss, so I got Coroner's Kiss. Ooh, and I just think that's really pretty packaging. And it's like silver. So we're gonna swatch this on my hand here. Oh, that's really pretty. Ooh, look at that. It'll add a little color, not too much to the lips. I don't really have a lipstick of his to put on top, so we're just gonna see how it is bare. Oh, that feels buttery. And it doesn't feel sticky. Thank goodness, I hate sticky glosses. Oh yeah, that's like a nice little like light gray. It's not gonna add too much color now. You can definitely use this as a topper. I just don't have a gray lipstick right now. So I would probably just wear this as is, just as a regular gloss. Ugh. Can't speak. But that is pretty. It does have sparkles. It has some shimmer in there but they don't feel gritty, they don't stick. That's really nice. I'm glad that they don't do that in there. I think I'm gonna have to get more of his glosses just because it feels so nice. Guys, I think this look is all set. So I think we are done with Jeffree Star's cremated collection. So I'm pretty much loving the overall look. I wish I didn't have to wear a mask because that would just be rude because that just covers up the pretty gloss and the face highlighter. I mean, look at that highlight, look at that. And that's with Diamonds, Ashes, and Afterlife. So those two shades in there make a very pretty highlight going on in there. I mean, guys, this palette 
I was so excited for this. It did not let me down. I love this palette. I think this is really cool. This is such a cool idea. I mean, I'm not bothered by it personally. If you are, you need to suck it up, go grow up and get over it. He just makes really cool art. And this is just so beautiful. And I haven't seen anything like this. So I'm definitely going to be keeping this palette for a while. I will be using this palette for some time. The gloss is nice. I want to get more of the glosses. So I'm pretty much loving this look. It's great for like my 90s fantasy. Probably going to do some Halloween looks or darker looks with this later on down the road. So I'm just so glad I got this. I'm just so excited. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know it's early in the morning. We all need our coffee. I definitely need my coffee. I've got plenty of time before work, so I'm going to drink a pot of coffee before going into Macy's. So thank you guys so much for watching. I can't wait to make more videos, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So bye!